Hi, how are you doing today? We're good. How are you? Great. I'm, I'm sore. Good. If you want to know the truth, <laughs> I imagine so. Have you been working hard all all day there in North Carolina so far? Yeah, yesterday, but it's the yesterday that this the sore today. We don't know. We don't know what tomorrow is going to hold. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay, you're you're the last interview before we have to go swing a hammer. So you you just take your time. <laughs> okay. We're in Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, we're working on 27 homes. Um, the weather is amazing, and uh, this is our second day of building. We started with opening ceremonies on Sunday on President Carter's 99th birthday. I know. And uh, they're not here, but we are on the Jimmy and Rosalind Carter work project, and we are carrying on uh, the tradition of working really hard and always having something to do, um, except for this moment, which President Carter right now will be saying, get back to work. And uh, <laughs> and we're we're getting working alongside the homeowners, so you get a chance to really learn the person that's going to be in the house you're, you're working on. <laughs> and building community. And it's just, I mean, I just recommend that everybody does this because you'll feel, you feel so good at the end of the day. You're tired, but it's a good tired. Absolutely. Have you had a chance? Did you get a chance to wish Jimmy a happy 99th birthday? It was a day or two ago. We did. We did. Sure did. Then everybody got to sing happy birthday to him. So it was cool. And then he, uh, he personally sent me a letter because he said what he wanted for his 99th birthday was to build 29 homes in Charlotte. So Got this together really quick. <laughs> I, I can tell you this. If the man does have a birthday wish, this is what it'd be is uh, treating every human uh, with equality and making sure every human has the basic human right of a, of a roof over his or her head. What are your thoughts about carrying on this legacy here in, Nor in uh, North Carolina today in Charlotte? Mm -hmm. so there's no replacing President Carter. And one of the great myths for Habitat is most people think he started and runs Habitat, uh, which is not true. Um, but Habitat was a tiny organization when in 1984, President and Mrs. Carter got on a bus with a group of volunteers from Georgia, what slept in a church basement in Manhattan and helped rehab a tenement building on the Lower East Side. That's really when the world found out about Habitat. And that started 35 years of them spending a week every year building somewhere in the world. And that directly helped thousands of families get newer, improved homes but it inspired millions. And it's because of that that Habitat's been able to help over 46 million people have newer improved housing. Christian Garth, how did you initially get involved in this? It was uh, New Orleans after Katrina. So we went in, in two years after Katrina in 07 to build. And we actually went to do like a photo op and maybe hold a hammer and look like we were building. Um, <laughs> but we met the Carters there and they were really building. And we thought, this is what we want to do. We stayed all day. We had the best time. Um, and we just thought this is this is a place that we want to be involved in and more than just a two hour window or, or a photo op. And so that was the beginning. And we've been on almost every Carter build since. And um, it's been it's been for us one of the things that we look forward to every year. And you are one of the great power couples, celebrity power couples, you two. Um, and one of the great power couples of all time is absolutely Rosalind and Jimmy. I believe I've spoken with you when you did the Nashville build, Garth, about looking at looking to their marriage as a kind of you know the way to do it can you tell me a little bit more about how they've inspired you just in general in your in your life as how to live a good life yeah i think the thing with president carter and miss rosalind for me is just kind of how they complete one another uh, i gotta tell you me and miss sherwood sit here and well you know we have our times we argue in these really deep discussions <laughs> can you imagine being the president of the united states as your job and yet they seem to come out on the other side even more in love with each other than going in. That's impossible for one. And then it's cool to see that they're just regular people. They're just angels walking among us, but they're regular people because we build beside them every year. Uh, this year we're actually taking the Carter house, but we've always built beside them. And they're like anybody else. They work great together. Then sometimes they don't agree on anything, right? And uh, it, it's fun to get to see both sides but the main thing throughout all that, you have no doubt whatsoever that uh, he is a loving and compassionate man, and she is a strong and courageous woman. And together, that's what a true power couple is. It's just a couple that loves one another. Yeah, I mean, I think that you said it best. I think it's 76 years of marriage this year, I think they celebrated. So um, we, we will be, I don't know, 100 and how old if we get to 76 years. <laughs> But, but it is an example of just of just how to be. And I think that, you know, you, what I see the two of them is is love. I see laughter. I see mutual respect. 
And I love how when people are always focused on President Carter, how he spreads, he shines a spotlight on her and talks about all of the initiatives that she's done all over the world. She's an advocate for mental health. She's also um, helped in, in other countries about, I think she was in, was very instrumental in the, in the guinea worm problem. And she's, there's, you can look her up and see that she has done so many things and he's the first guy to tell you all the things that Rosalind has done. Yeah, I think one of our favorite memories, and I'm going to speak for Jonathan as well. I think all three of one of our favorite memories, we were actually here when they changed the name from the Jimmy Carter Work Project to the Jimmy and Miss Rosalind uh, Carter Work Project. I thought that was, uh, I thought that said tons. Has he checked in on you told and told you to get back to work, or is it bittersweet that he is not there today? It is bittersweet. Um, you know, he was excited we were coming back to Charlotte. He is aware. He watched the opening ceremonies. Um, but obviously they have retired from public life and, uh, and are very much in our, our thoughts, but it is, uh, I think he more than anyone would want to see the work continue.